25% chance this was manufactured, came out of a laboratory. In fact, I'm a, I'm 100%, but because I've studied it, but who knows what's going to happen with this? This this really stinks. Obama shook hands with man who died from swine flu. The first case was seen in Mexico April 13th. The outbreak coincided with President Obama's trip to Mexico on April 16th. Obama was received by Mexico's Anthropology Museum in Mexico City by Filippo Solis, a distinguished archaeologist who died the following day from symptoms similar to flu. Reforma newspaper reported the newspaper didn't confirm if Solis had swine flu or not, but I actually found an AP article that did say he died of it. Now, well, whatever. There's that one. Uh, again, out of BBC, they're reporting that medical doctor... Yene Gregorio Davila, Mexico City, is saying that it's 20 dead at his hospital alone, not 68 dead as of this morning, but 200. That's BBC. Mexico may take more flu control steps, Calderon says, declares emergency, locking down at cities, locking down areas, putting people on quarantine. Global flu epidemic fears grow Grows more U.S. cases, and then, and, and then look at this story: venture capital firm set to reap rewards of swine flu. The swine flu outbreak is likely to benefit one of the most prolific and successful venture capital firms in the United States: Kellner, Perkins, and Caulfield and Bayer's Thompson Reuters uh, Private Equity Week reported on Friday. Shares of the two public companies in the firm portfolio of eight pandemic and biodefense companies, Bio, Crist, Pharmaceuticals, Novavax, jumped Friday on news that the swine flu killed and reported 60 people. It's over that now. In Mexico, and has infected people in the United States. I mean, if they've confirmed three days into this outbreak in Mexico, yeah, three days. It'll be four tomorrow, four at midnight tonight. That it killed sixty-eight as of this morning, and then now they're saying it's really over two hundred. This is not going to be pretty. Uh, so um, Obama and Bush are all tied into that. So is Rumsfeld. Yeah. Um, you know what? I want to play this video clip first, and then I got Kevin in Canada, Bob in South Carolina, Julian in Indiana. Chuck in North Carolina, Angela in Virginia, Mark in Oregon. And we'll, if, if my call guy can remember who called first, just let me know on the system, and I'll go to whoever you think I should go to first. But I want to play this clip and take a three-minute break. I mean, what do you say about something like this? If I start describing the propaganda that's involved here, it would take two hours, and we and we run out of time as taking your calls and covering this. But I spent... Five hours a day off and on trying to find it, and I rarely fail, and I failed. Maybe somebody can find it and put it in the prisonplanet.com forum. You guys can always get it done if I can't. You know, the power of millions of people out there, a brain power. But remember in 2002, they had a five-night special on Nightline on ABC with Ted Koppel, and they started the first show without even announcing it was a drill and was fake, and later in the show admitted it, and it caused somewhat of a panic. It was like War of the Worlds with uh, Orson Welles. Showing real riot footage, showing smallpox, showing people dying, and saying that smallpox had been released in the United States. And then for the five nights, they led it into martial law, dark winter, breakdown of the United States. Well, I couldn't find that. On the Prison Planet Forum... I found that the guys had already, and the girls had already uh, had broken down everything I was already thinking. I guess our minds think alike. Uh, and had found all the government documents on other subjects where there was a federally funded program for homeland security pre-9-11. Now, now, remember, Bill Clinton gave a speech about how, how homeland security would be set up in 1993, right after he was elected. They'd already set up homeland security they then introduced it and made it a cabinet position after 9-11. This talks about that. Now, if you want to find it, just Google dark winter pretext for top off. I don't know if Kurt's gotten this posted yet, uh, but uh, we need to get this up right now. I'm going to play the video for you right now, though. Dark winter pretext for top off. CC 
M R F C B R N E. Wait a minute, I got Aaron here too. He can post it. Let's have Aaron post it. The two webmasters here. Now listen to me carefully. Aaron, will you just go ahead and post this video on InfoWars if Kurt hasn't? This exercise was made possible by grant funding from the McCormick Tribune Foundation, the Oklahoma City National Memorial Institute for the Prevention of Terrorism, June 22nd, 23rd, 2001, the Center for Strategic International Studies, the John Hopkins Center for C Civilian Biodefense Studies, the Answer Institute for Homeland Security. You hear that? Oh, uh, Homeland Security, before they announce it to you, the slaves. And the Oklahoma City National Memorial Institute for the Prevention of Terrorism. And then it goes on from there. We're going to post this right now with the text in the video at InfoWars.com. Now, they put on a fake newscast in Oklahoma. This was shown to Homeland Security people and others at Northcom. Was, Northcom was not set up in 2002, boys and girls. It's been around since the 40s. Now, this is them fear-mongering for the breakdown of society, dark winter, the shutdown of the Texas-Oklahoma border. They also did another test that same year for anthrax attack. And that's in my video, famous video, Alex Jones predicts 9-11. And I say, call the White House, tell them don't blow up the World Trade Center, don't carry out the attack. Just like I've been saying the last few weeks, tell the government don't carry out the bird flu attack. I just see the integrated spectrum. I see the data. I don't believe this is the attack. This is a preparation and a dry run uh, uh, trial balloon of a real hybrid virus they're just getting you trained and tested right now that they're the boss, they're the saviors, love them. Because the media is hyping this and really trying to create hysteria and fear. Uh, it is zoological, a double zoological virus combined with a human. Again, it's very suspicious, but, but I hope and pray. My gut tells me this is already a devastating virus. But my gut tells me this is manufactured, this is released, this is being managed. I saw fear preparation the last month building up. That's why I've been doing shows on bird flu. Steve Quayle on Monday, he said it's coming within weeks. Intel told him, boom, what's happening? I pray he's wrong. But when you live this, when you pray this, when you dream this, when you eat this, sleep this, then you start getting the deep knowledge of how the enemy operates. Now, that doesn't mean... They may not pull out of this or do something else or there's not another attack behind it or this is just a drill. My gut is this is staged. And, and again, a gut, like a good police detective, they go, oh, my nose or my gut tells me that's the killer. And you know, it turns out they're right in history with a really good detective. That's not a gut. That's thousands of pieces of data, research, experience, all of that brings it together. Now, watch this fear-mongering piece. And understand how they've been inculcating this into the culture. Now, I wish I could find the nightline. I looked on YouTube, Google. I spent hours. Ted Koppel, but Ted Koppel wasn't in it till the last few episodes where they then said, okay, we fear-mongered you and caused a national panic. Can't believe something this big isn't on the web from only six years ago, six and a half years ago. This is about seven, early 2002, if memory serves. And the last few, because it was five nights, Monday through Friday. In the last two episodes, they would show, in the aftermath of millions dead, Homeland Security fixed it, and blah, blah, blah. And then Ted Koppel would have guests on. What do we do? Well, we pass laws, taking people's rights, enforce inoculation, and have the police and military take these shots, and it's going to happen. Al-Qaeda is going to hit us. Now, notice, this video was produced pre-9-11. The, 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 the university and Homeland Security's own press release says. Then they got some other videos that integrate it with modern things. Post 9-11, there's several of these videos, actually. I'm not sure which one we're about to go to. I think we're going to the first video right now, but the point is, yeah, that's the first video. Good. Just double-checking that. Notice how they're talking about Al-Qaeda, Taliban having it. See, right before they hit us, months before, this is the stuff I was seeing, similar things. I didn't even know about this until today. I knew about the Homeland Security drills, but I didn't know they had videos produced for it for the feds to, to fearmonger them and inculcate them. You know, most of the feds aren't involved in this. They don't know either. They're all brainwashed like the general public. Okay, regardless, let's go ahead and go to this video. Then I'm going to come right back to your calls, I promise. For folks in Mexico, I want to hear from you in Mexico. Mexico City, we got one call out of the gates. Call me. Is the phone system open right now? We're going to open it right now during this video for folks in Mexico only. Just hang up on them if they're not from Mexico. They can call in later. But I want folks in Mexico where the heart of this is happening. Eyewitness reports that we got earlier. 